What's up, chosen ones? It's G Wells with them. And them are you, which are the chosen ones, and I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, look, chosen ones. This thing I'm doing right here is not religion. It's not church. It's not some type of cult group that just get together and talk about God. What I'm doing right here is a call to action to make that connection with the most high. It's a call to action to get out that little bitty bag and get in your purpose. It's a call to action to get on the path that the most high has designed for you so that you may take charge of your life and possess the land that the most high has given you. See, look, chosen ones, y'all are chosen by the most high. And y'all ain't built to just sit up in a church all day and hear the word. See, the church have its place. And that's where beginners go to learn the word, to find God. You already know God. So why would I give y'all something that y'all already got? This is a call to action. Look what's going on in the world today. We complain about the leaders. We complain about the people in charge. The Most High told us he will make us rulers of nations. The Most High need his people in position of power so that he can reign in the physical realm. Why do you think things are so crazy in this world right now? Because none of God's people are in position of power. They're not in their rightful position. See, y'all, we talk about this, oh, I'm the head and not the tail, I'm above and not beneath, but you in no way, shape, or form in a position of power to call a shot, change a law, change a policy, make a difference. We just want to hear the word of the Most High. The Most High need His people in position of power. So that means you have to get in your purpose. You have to go possess the land that the Most High has given you. You need to take up your throne in the land that the Most High has given you. The Most High has told you, go possess the land. Like He told His people in the wilderness. Go possess the land. And what they do? They were scared to go possess the land. What happened? It kept them wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. See, you supposed to be in a position of power so that the Most High can work through you and get His will done on earth. We got everybody else and they mamas in positions of power and we just sit here and go along with their scenario. That's why the world is the way it is right now. Believe me, I'm in the same boat. But the thing is, I see it now. And I'm, work, I'm, I'm striving towards that. I'm going to take up my land that the Most High has laid up for me that is flowing with milk and honey and I'm going to take up my throne. I'm going to take charge. I'm going to possess the land that the Most High gave me. I've been wandering in the wilderness long enough and I know y'all tired. Chosen ones, what we doing? We no longer need milk. The Bible tells us milk are for babies. If you a babe in Christ, if you a babe in the word, okay, cool. But now it's time to go, it's time to be on a battlefield. No more sitting up, laying around, just hearing it to feel good. Yes, we can talk about the things we going through. Yes, it's periods where we need to heal, rest up and heal from situations and you know what I'm saying? Problems. And yes, you need to hear a good word to heal you up. But once you heal, you need to get back on that battlefield. You need to get back in the field. I look at it like this. I was in the military. Check this out. I was in the military. And when I deployed downrange, that was the battlefield. 
It was no time to be training and trying to figure out how to use my weapon or how to, you know, do basic combat maneuvers. That was done in garrison. That was done at my duty station. That's how y'all got to look at church. That's your duty station. That's where you were stationed at. That's where you get trained up for battle, not stay there forever and just lay up on a base somewhere and just get trained for the rest of your life. No. Once you learn what you need to learn, now it's time for you to strap up and go to the battlefield. It's time to go down range and do war. Fight for your position. It's nothing wrong with church that, that is needed, but that's the beginning stage. Us chosen ones, we passed that. This, what I'm doing here is to induce movement, induce action. I'm the audio inducer. It's time to get up. Make it happen. Go possess the land that the Most High has given you. Or you're going to continue to wander in the wilderness and be at the mercy of an ungodly individual that don't have your best interests. This is not religion by a long shot. This is just the truth. This is just what the Most High required of me, and I'm just relaying the message. I'm going to take my land. This, this ain't, see, this is, this is action. This ain't just a parable where he's, oh, go take up your land of milk. This is real. This is real. Go take up the land that you're going to reign over. The people that you're supposed to be over. Guiding and directing. You hold a position in this physical realm of power. What the word tell us? My good and faithful servant, you've been, you've been faithful over a few. Now I will make you a ruler over many. Chosen ones. We talk about it, but we don't apply it to this real physical world. We can receive it in the spiritual, but you got to apply that same teaching in that word to this physical word. I mean, this physical world, world, excuse me, physical world. Go possess the land. Go be ruler over many. Because God can trust you in your character. And we wouldn't have to be going through so much in this country if us chosen ones get up out of our shell, get up out that church and get on the battlefield and do war. We got the word in us. We got it in us. What are we going to do with it? Let's go out, make the change and go possess our land and reign over the things that the Most High has gave, given us dominion over. Chosen ones, let's stop playing. Don't possess the land that the Most High has given you. Be scared. You're going to continue to wander in the wilderness. And that wandering is going to be you being at the mercy of another, of another man. Your life all wrecked. You can't figure out where you're going. And you just continually go in this vicious, vicious cycle. Of being just wandering, just being, just existing. No real fulfillment, no real pleasure. I don't know about y'all chosen ones, but I'm going to possess my land. I'm going to get what's mine. I'm going to possess the land that is mine, that the Most High has given me, that told me. He told me, and I ain't even, this is real. Listen, I'm going to possess the land that's mine. I'm going to reign over the things that I'm supposed to have dominion over. I'm going to take my position of power. I'm going to take up my throne and rule. What about y'all?